Hey, this is Chris Bertelson with a quick clip from Nevada Learning Series. Here we'll take a look at iTunes and your iPad 2. Whether you have a PC or a Mac, the iTunes program is central to how you get data onto and off from your iPad. Here on my PC, I have iTunes running. It's where I keep my library of TV shows, not many TV shows, movies, my music library, ebooks that I might have, any applications that I've purchased, they're all centrally located here in iTunes. And when you connect up your iPad to iTunes, it appears over here on the left under Devices. There's a little battery meter there, and if I click on that device, I see a summary screen on the right. This tells me the name of my iPad, the capacity, the version, the serial number. I have a little picture of it right there. If I'd like to update it to the latest version of software, I can click the Update button. If I need to restore it back to the original factory settings, that's the button I click on to do that restore. Now when you connect your iPad to iTunes, it automatically synchronizes the changes back and forth and it also makes a backup. It's transparent and you don't have to worry about it. But there are some other options that you could set. You could choose not to have iTunes connect automatically. You could encrypt your backup, which would require a password then to restore that. Down at the very bottom of this screen, you can see the amount of space that's consumed on your iPad, how much free space you have in gray, and exactly how it's being used, whether it's audio, video, photos, and so forth. If you want to see the specific items that you have from your library on your iPad, click on this little triangle on the left by Devices, and you can expand out and take a look at the music, the movies, podcasts, books, all the specifics of what's out there. To manage the information that gets synchronized to your iPad, you can click on the Info tab up at the top. And this first tab is where you would synchronize information from your PC, perhaps contacts or calendars or email accounts. You can even synchronize your bookmarks from the browser and have those be the same on your iPad. If you click on Apps, you can see a listing of all the applications that I have on my iPad. They're grouped by type. First over here I have iPhone, iPod, and iPad apps. If I scroll down a little bit, we get to just iPhone and iPod touch apps. And if I go all the way down at the very bottom, we have just apps that are available for the iPod. I like that over here on the right, I have the home screens from my iPad. I can page through them here, see what's located where, and I can even drag and drop to rearrange those. If I wanted to take dictionary and move it up, I can just drag it out of the dock, put it right there. Maybe I want to put photo booth down at the bottom. I can drag and drop that. I can make a folder out of it if I want to drop it on top of another icon. And I want to put it down here on the dock. And for my money, I think this is a little bit easier and faster sometimes as a way to reorganize your home screens. If I click on the Music tab up at the top, here I can see a list of all my music that I have synchronized to my iPad. You can choose what gets synchronized, how it's synchronized, and specifics as to playlists, artists, albums, and so forth. Likewise, you can manage all of your movies, TV shows, podcasts, books, and photos on your iPad. Now once you've made changes to the configuration, you can then come down here and click on Apply to immediately make those changes. Let's go ahead and take a look at our iPad. So here on my iPad, you can see we're getting ready for the synchronization to start with iTunes. Now the sync is in progress. It's making those changes that I created. And here's what we see happening on iTunes. First, it synchronizes. It makes a backup if it hasn't done one of those recently. Finishes the sync, and it says up at the top that synchronization is now complete. Let's go take a look at how it looks on the iPad. And here you can see the results of that synchronization. The dictionary has moved up. Photo booth has moved down. 
That's been a quick look at some of the connections you have with iTunes, a central part to keeping data up to date on your iPad. This has been a quick clip from Nevada Learning Series, helping you get the most from your Apple iPad.